On uh, May 11th, 2014, we will be hosting an auction. Uh, that date might sound familiar to you because it's Mother's Day, and you can blame me for that. I'm the smartest guy around. I'm Brad Ward with Ward's Auctions. Welcome to another walkthrough video. Uh, the sale is, in fact, on the 11th. 9 o'clock we open the doors, and 10 o'clock we start selling. It's going to be about 600 lots, a lot of nice products, so make sure that if you are a mother, you tell your family that you do not want to miss it. And if you're not a mother, don't bother your mother because she's going to be here. Um, viewing will be on the 9th, the Friday as per usual, nine, or, uh, sorry, uh, on the 9th from 4 until 8. And of course we'll have the online bidding, so go to the website wardsauctions.com if you absolutely can't make it to the sale, plus you can do your absentee bids and so on. We'll start doing a little walkthrough. There's even an automobile in here that we'll clip in. I'm going to mention a coin sale that's coming up. We're going to show you some highlights of that later on. Uh, I don't have a date for it yet, but we will show you the pieces. So starting with this right here, this is a uh, quarter cut oak antique flatware chest complete with every drawer is full. The completely fitted interior. All these pictures of these items, are, of course, are on the website, so you can have a look at those as well. But this is just a fantastic piece. Uh, as is there so many other pieces. A lot of Dalton in the sale, Dalton, Lambeth, Dalton, Royal Dalton. This is a nice big pedestal you can see. It's, um, I'm seven feet tall and it's halfway up my A um, Couple of Macy um, stacking bookcases. One of them, the short one, has a, a drawered base. The other one is, is a non-drawered base. Some original artwork, some prints. There's also some semi-contemporary in the sale. Um, wall units, not a lot of use as far as entertainment use value anymore than some other pieces, but they're great for the office. I use one in my office. You can store lots of stuff in there, file boxes and so on, and even take a shelf out and put a printer in there. That's what I do. So there's that. Nice little nesting tables. Another semi-contemporary. This is part of the, the dining room suite. We don't have the, the rest of it, just that. Uh, this, you'll see these green tags still on certain things. It's because we haven't finished cataloging yet. Those are consigner numbers, so that's the first time that's happened in the video. We just uh, just haven't finished cataloging. We just thought we'd get you the video a little sooner. Little uh, small freezer. Some retro pieces. This is a dining room set. Uh, china cabinet, sideboard, table with two leaves. Very 60s, very cool. I'm not sure. Um, you know, if a guy should reupholster it or leave it, or it's definitely got an interesting look uh, for the right for the right person, of course. HO train set back here, great for the kids. Eben, ebonized finish, spinning wheel, really neat for decor or for use. Probably the child size um, saddle, and I believe there's another one in the sale as well. There's some teak in the sale, sideboards, and there's a desk coming up that's not unlike the one we had a couple of sales ago or last sale. Some of it Canadian, some of it Danish. Uh, from different houses, so watch out for that waterfall pieces. This is a really key piece hanging on the wall here. You just get a couple things out of your way. I'm assuming it is a, a playbill display, possibly out of a theater or something like that, because it's only, it's only about that thick inside. You could display other things other than ephemera, but it's probably had a movie poster in there or a playbill poster. Oh, again, quarter cut oak, original finish, just needs a little bit of TLC, not very much to tidy that up. Big knee desk, more teak over here. This is the desk I mentioned earlier. You, you saw virtually the twin to it, the, the sailor two ago, and that's in the sail. Telescope, Coca-Cola cooler. More, more teak behind me here. Uh, Danish teak sofa, wall unit, that drops down. In fact, I may as well show you, the key is in it. it drops down quite nicely, and then rests on that ledge, and it's all fitted inside. But make a good bar, good storage, of course. Niche Cheval mirror and the teak. Now this is a great, a great, uh, not probably not very expensive, but I think everybody needs one. You can have a drink at that one there. Comes with the stools. Around in this side, huge set of of, uh, of the big Denby. This is all one big huge lot. That's a whack of gear there. Uh, have a look at this original finish carved sideboard in the sale. Another Dalton piece and the big beer keg. Triple panel screen with leaded panels, quarter cut oak. A couple of interesting clocks. This is a, a cuckoo clock, very black forest. Painted tiles, a hand painted tile. You're going to want to have a peek at that one for sure. This is an interesting clock. I'll be, I'll be curious to find out what some of the customers have to say about this one. It's got a lot of information inside it. It's mechanical and it's battery. You know, does the, is the battery signal to send something else and is triggered by the, by the uh, movement? I don't know. Uh, one of these days I'll, I'll get a chance to look into that, but some of you viewers out there will already know what it is. So that's pretty neat. Apartment sized oak and walnut. Um, 
dining room suite. Draw leaf table, six chairs, but you can see again, it's, it's a smaller, it's a smaller set compared to me. Um, it's a neat little apartment size set. This is a standalone piece. Probably won't be able to see it necessarily that well, but very oriental motif on it in the chinoiserie. And display, it's illuminated, I believe. Yeah, illuminated. And uh, each section is independent. Great little display cabinet there. Again, you probably won't be able to see this off camera, but it's a heavily inlaid table down here. Gorgeous quarter cut oak sideboard, leaded panels on both sides of the doors, beveled mirror. Definitely not to be missed on that one. This table here you have to have a good look at. This one here, it says on the top, we'll zoom in on that, table made from oak uh, from one of Nelson's flagships. This is the third time that I have sold this, uh, this table. The person that, that we're selling it for now, uh, he has passed away, he was a customer for some, some 20 years and, uh, and it used to actually belong to my brother at one time. I think the first time I sold it was, it was because it was his when he moved down to the U.S. Around here, this is a, again an oak fitted case with stereoscope. There's two viewers in there and just a schwack of, of slides. Just a million of them, all different, mostly travel ones, I think. It's labeled in your, in your catalog and on the website uh, when you can see some pictures. Lots of different parts of the world, mostly travel pieces there. Oak and slag glass mission style lamp, table lamp. And then again, another nice selection. A lot of larger carpets this time. I think last time we had a lot of smaller ones. You just never know what's going to come in from houses. There is some smaller, but there is some monsters here. So if you need a big carpet, some nice quality stuff, 290 and 100% wool, then make sure you pay attention to this sale. Some nice pieces in there. Somebody's going to get killed with that. Probably me. Original finish again, that's always, a, you know, almost always important. The mission style, this is actually two cabinets. When I first saw it in the house, I thought it was one big one, uh, but in fact it's two, so one comes to here and then the other one carries on. The original label is inside this one. So you'll be able to see there's a close-up of that on the, on the website as well. There's a uh, mission, again, quarter-cut oak wall mirror and coat hooks on top of there. Uh, Dalton, Lambeth Dalton Art Nouveau vases. This is a two-piece, this is on a pedestal. Again, the other saddle that we talked about. In through this first cabinet, again, more, more Dalton. There's the, there's the um, Dickens minis down there. There's antique Lambeth pieces. Tray lots of uh, smaller bits and pieces. Some Oriental motif stuff, some brass. Uh, somewhere around here, I know there's one labeled tobacco, uh, which is, again, is pretty neat to get it like that. Nobody, nobody smokes anymore nowadays, but um, you still collect this stuff. This cabin is mostly Lambeth and, and Dalton Lambeth and the Royal Dalton, etc. It looks like a, almost exclusively, a couple exceptions, that's a Burslem piece I think there. Uh, and again, you know, here's a salad bowl with, with matching servers in there, so it doesn't get much better than that. In front of me is quarter cut oak nesting tables. Down here, strong box, got the key with it. Um, well labeled on top, it's in, manufactured in Birmingham. Nice litho inside, that's pretty neat. Just that so I don't hurt myself. You're going to want to pay attention to this one. This is made by Carter's. It's adjustable. First of all, you can to get rid of that. That's your book ledge. So that can come up or down on both sides. You can tilt it back and forth, use it both ways, or have it straight. You can go up and down on it. Very cool, and of course the pedestal is very nautical looking on the on the base of that. So I've never seen one quite like it. Very interesting piece there. There's more mission pieces down at my feet. Smaller pieces you'll see it when you come to the viewing. This is an interesting piece. This actually came in from the public trustee, and uh, and it came in with a, a harpsichord. So you can just well imagine he was a little he was a busker in in the city here, and this would have been his hat, his hat box. I think there's some cuffs and and whatnot to go along with it. So that's interesting. A uh, leather case piece here, picnic set. It's got your sandwich boxes, drinks tray, uh, drinks bottles, eating trays, and then again Dalton um, uh, shakers in there. That's a very very neat piece. I don't think I don't think I've ever seen one like that before. And you go off on a picnic with that one. You're going to want to look at the label inside this one here. Again, it's on the website. 
uh, quarter cut Ogre Empire. It's actually a, a high to bed. It comes apart, this particular one comes apart in literally minutes. So it looks daunting to move it into your house. Four bolts on the back, two on this side, two on that side, and the back panel goes off. This and this go off. And then you, I think you rotate the seat up one direction or another, I forget exactly, and then the whole side comes off, both arms come off. Literally, in three minutes, this is in four manageable pieces so you can get it in and out of your house. And then there's a, a roll-up mattress. We don't have one. Nobody's likely to use it anyhow. Quarter cut oak again. One of my favorite woods. Games table. Take a look here. When we opened it up in the house, I think there was cards and chips inside it. So it has probably just had been used. And uh, again, very functioning very well. It's got a great look to it. Some brass pieces down here. Uh, again, uh, Mission or Arts and Crafts lamp. Quarter cut oak. Um, the smoker stand in the mission style again. This is a very, very neat piece. This is a, a Dalton toilet, flow blue toilet. Comes with a, uh, everything you need to get set up for, for anything you need to do. And I think that any house, any antique house needs one of those for sure. You want to get a zoom in on the label of that one. We have a, uh, there's also pictures of that, of course, on the, on the website. I don't think I've ever seen one before. This, the, the back, the seat pad back mounts to the wall instead of onto the toilet. In here, we won't go in there, there's uh, beds, there's, there's Art Deco bedroom pieces in there, there's some, some Danish style stuff here, some primitives. There is a, an accordion around the corner in that case that we're seeing the back of. A great ship's lamp here, brass and copper. And again, it's really neat. There is a light inside. I'm not sure if the interior is original or not, but uh, definitely is a neat piece. The table that it's on, of course, is fantastic. Inside here, a couple of swords. Some of them are decor swords and so on. There is the, the dagger. Um, original or not original. I think that's going to have to be up to you. Not exactly my strong suit, but some people, I'm sure, once they see some close-ups of that, they'll be they'll be emailing and calling and so on. This is a set of uh, sterling flatware. This is going to be one lot. I think it's a, a set for ten as one lot, and then there's some extras that match it over here as another lot. The trench art, good vintage proper trench art, not reproduction new stuff. Um, these are sold as trays. This one here, I'm assuming, was custom fit for the guy's watch. That would be his pocket watch holder and a very, very interesting piece. Some of them have, have labels on of where they came from. You don't very often see good proper trench art. Behind me, nice big uh, Victorian inlaid etagere. Through here, uh, some original artworks you're going to want to pay attention to. Mission Rocker, Arts and Crafts Rocker. I think there's two of them. There's another one right there, actually. This trunk is really neat. It's a wicker, a heavy wicker, and then wrapped in a a burlap or something, um, fitted inside. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's got some good stories to tell. It's just a really good look to it. Uh, again, the Victorian inlaid etagere, beveled panels all over it, neat hanging lamp, some waterfall furniture and so on. Into the sterling cabinet, there's one that I want to draw attention. There's actually a, a tea set and some goblets and so on. Um, nice big bowl. But this particular piece, Equestrian, I can't read it because uh, you know it's a little bit small and I'm not looking right at it, but it's, it's an antique piece. This panel on here is sterling. It's got some nice verbiage about where it came from, some great uh, bas-relief um, pictures, a horse, horse motif, etc. So you're going to want to pay close attention to that one there. The other saddle, silver plate tea set. This is another sterling flatware set. Uh, this table is neat. It's a larger size and it actually extends open and I think has a, a jackknife leaf inside it. So it's, it's a, too big to be a sofa table and too small to be a... but it, it's got a great, a great potential to it anyhow. This is a, a glimpse of the coins. We haven't cataloged them. We haven't picked a date for them yet. But as you can see, there is a huge collection of them. Uh, it's a few different consigners. There's still a little bit of room for consignments in the sale, especially in the form of, of older bills, older stuff that's, that's going to command a little bit of attention. There's a lot of the, the newer stuff, but newer good stuff. Um, 
the camera's coming around the corner, you're going to see, some of it doesn't necessarily make sense, but you see bills that are consecutive serial numbers, well you can't see that on the camera. Uh, a lot of sets, there's vintage stuff in here. In here we do have a thousand dollar bill and we have some of the new one hundred dollar bills. Some, some, in some cases I don't always know what the significance is yet. Um, on some of the collections, two dollar bills, because we've, we've only just started to go through um, and unpack and so on. So some of it just looks like regular currency so far until we figure out why, um, why it was part of the collection. And then there's some that are put together, some older bills and so on. This one here, as, we come, as you get up to us, uh, you're seeing some sterling in there. This is the 2, 5, 10, 20, 50, all with the same number, 284 specimen set. The whole kit and caboodle there. So likely one lot. Some ten, older $10 bills. There are US, um, you know, collector pieces in the packaging, stuff that is, is marketed that way um, from one place. And then as we come around the corner, I forget if it was from the trustee or whatnot, there's some of the older stuff, Sterling Olympic stuff, but, but older stuff in these packages. Um, the collections we have not opened yet necessarily. A lot of proof sets and um, specimen sets. A lot of sterling, a little bit of gold, newer gold, a great deal of, of sterling in the form of, of Olympic stuff and in the form of proof sets. And here we go back to 83. Most of these are the double dollar along this selection here. And then you've got some of this uh, with the sterling. Um, and in some years he's got the, both the specimen and the proof set and it's going to be a great sale. So watch the website for details on that coming up. All right, on the, uh, the estate car, it's only got 14,000 kilometers, a 2011 Nissan Cube. 14,000 kilometers, it's been sat for, for almost a year, so of course, uh, my bad, we didn't have a battery tender on it, and uh, we should have we should have addressed that. So we put a new battery in it, new batteries in the in the key fobs. It's got the push button start, so you just hit the brake pedal, hit the button, and away it fires up. It's reasonably well equipped. Um, starting at the door, you do have your full power windows, automatic on the driver's side. You got your power locks. You can lock out the kids in the back for their their windows there. Uh, premium sound system with audio controls on the steering wheel. Uh, cruise control controls are on the steering wheel. Intermittent wipers, tilt steering, nice graphic display, powered mirrors. There's a button down here to turn your power, your um, anti-traction off. There's powered seat switches down here. You won't be able to see that. Air conditioning, um, power ports. Definitely a premium sound system. Uh, I'm not sure what all. Um, uh, what the standard one is like. This one's quite nice. So, like I say, 14,000 kilometers. Have a look. Uh, we'll, uh, there's, there's pictures, a whole bunch of pictures on the website. The, the serial number's on there. It's an estate car, 14,000 K in this end cube. And well worth having a look at. There's a second set of rims. The tires that are on it right now and in the photographs are the are factory ones, the proper original ones with the original tires. There's also a set of steel rims with winter tires that we just took off. So you get that included in the, in the price. So have a good look at that one. And back from inside, nice car we just looked at. Um, we were allowed to have the jewelry, or at least some of it. We haven't finished photographing all of it, so some of it's still in the safe to get photographed for the sale. So, a great little selection. There's men's stuff in here, there's women's stuff, there's big stuff, there's little stuff, there's vintage stuff, there's the watch fob, uh, which is always nice. This is kind of neat on-off switch pendant. You'll, you'll want to pay attention to this one, the Sterling Concord set, keychain and cufflinks from Lynx of London. Um, the vintage pieces here, always popular with the vintage, the brooches and, and whatnot. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous chain with a fob on it. Uh, we don't very often get those pieces. This heavy, heavy bracelet, look at the size of that thing there. The other thing that we have in the sale that, you know, you don't see very often, and these, they, they look like coins at a glance to the untrained eye, and actually if you're looking at that side, they are in fact coins, or at least most of them are. But they are called love tokens, and uh, sort of trench art, if you will, where they take the, ster the sterling or the coin silver pieces that are easier, easy to work with and polish down all the coin, uh, all the coin related um, bits off the one side 
and that allows them to inscribe it and they might put somebody's name on it, their sweetheart's name on it or initials or their children or something like that. Those ones are done as coins. Here's some that are done up as bracelets. You see this side here is still coins, of course, and then they're all linked together and soldered. So they're no, no numismatic value anymore. They're no longer a coin. But if you see there, it says Dave and Boyd and, and whatnot. It's probably some of the family pieces or family names, and that's a bracelet. Um, again, where do you see that sort of thing? Here's another one that is coins, and then it says to Mary Love Bill, you know, something that was made when they were probably overseas or something. I'm not sure what coin this used to be. You can get a little glimpse of it. I'm sure now the experts, it's now that they've seen that, will know exactly what it is quickly. But they've made a pendant out of the face by carving out the rest of it. Nowadays they do it with laser. Back in these days they did it with a, a knife and fork essentially. So there's a, a few of those pieces in the sale. Uh, you're going to want to pay close attention to. There's the usual, usual selection of, of Roald Dalton figurines. Every, every sale though there's different stuff which makes it fun. And there's some more Dalton Burslem in there. There's the fox, of course, that we have on the front cover of the, of the site. That's my favorite. It just jumped out at me as soon as I saw it. Can't, you can't help but like that one. Not as much artwork in the sale as we, as we sometimes see, so the back wall is a little bit bare. But some fun stuff, nonetheless. Comics. I don't know where all the rest of them are. There's three or four different lots of comics in the sale. And some older stuff. Um, 25 cent stuff. And I'm not a comic guy necessarily, but there's a lot of... A lot of superhero and um, uh, unusual uh, superheroes I've never heard of, which doesn't necessarily mean anything because I haven't heard of a lot of them, but uh, it, def it looks to me like a better selection than what we have seen, um, or the, you, you often see, let's put it that way. And then there's just the usual fun stuff. Here's another box of comics, Captain America, interesting piece of carnival. Lots of ink bottles and so on. This is a trench art piece. This is, it's a good solid heavy piece. It's got a hat badge on it. Um, somebody made that up, did a great job of it. A uh, corporate seal and a uh, door knocker. Again, the usual bits and bobs. And um, there's a lot of stuff that ends up being off camera you don't get to see. This is interesting. Again, one of those um, quack pieces. You get to see the, uh, you crank that up and it's got a magneto in it generating electricity or doing whatever and you're supposed to stick your fingers in those holes. I'm not sure that I'm brave enough to do that, but that's the whole idea behind it. And it's, uh, it's the improved uh, for, nervous, for nervousness diseases. For nervous diseases. So maybe I should use that. Uh, Singer Featherweight sewing machine like new, geode, spelter lamp, more comics, Lionel trains, a great uh, cloach with a, these are actually made of feathers, if I'm not mistaken. These are feathers in here made into, into, uh, into um, flowers. Royal Albert China, some be it RS or something like that, I'm not sure. More adult, more comics. Toby Jugs, character jugs. Gingerbread clock. Some more comics. I suppose the door was supposed to be locked so we wouldn't have so much beeping going on, but that's all right. Um, Wedgwood. Just shows that we got stuff going on. There's a gingerbread clock. This is interesting. I don't know much about it. It's got a, a, a crest on it. It's this unmarked, nice delicate stuff, and it's got a crest on it all matching. There's three, three big trays of that. More little tray lots of fun stuff, some vintage exercise stuff. Lots of Dalt, or uh, Crocs and jugs and so on. Chips and bottles, lots of chips and bottles. There's two trays, although I shouldn't say lots, there's two trays full of those. Uh, I think there's four in this lot and probably four in the other lot. Quality crystal, chips decanter and some stemware. Um, Staffordshire dogs. Juggling. No, I better not. With all the glass around. There's a sterling tray here. These banks are interesting. Uh, there's, a, there's two lots of these, I think. I'm assuming that they were a, uh, a promotion, open up a bank account as a child and you get this, you know, but a hundred and some years ago, 150 years ago. This is Mark Paris. Um, so I'm assuming that's what they are. There's no reason to think otherwise until somebody points out the difference. More artwork up here, wooden trains, cloisonne. Um, there's another stereoscope up there. So again, just a, just a reminder, it's on the 11th, May 11th from 2014. 
from 10 o'clock we start selling, 9 o'clock we open the doors, viewing is on the Friday the 9th, May 9th from 4 until 8, we've added a little extra hour to the viewing this time just because of the, stuff, the amount of stuff that's in the building. So hopefully we'll see you there, check it out at wardsauctions.com. Thanks, take care.